It's my last day. I'm done. I don't work anymore. Well, at least here. I don't make enough money to be able to buy good food. I have to rely on food stamps for that. Ten dollars. I'm moving on in my life, I'm moving up. I don't have to work for a week and like two days, and then I'm a bank teller. Because I don't live with like parents or relatives. I've been considered homeless for like three years. This area is my safe place. When my mom and I used to get in really big fights, pretty much any time there was an issue between me and her, this is where I would come. Ready? Have you ever started tearing up from seeing your baby move during an ultrasound? Have you ever walked around your high school halls and knew that everyone was talking behind your back? Have you ever lay quietly on a couch and felt like there was a butterfly inside of you? My actions cost baby, and that's taking responsibility for it, is taking care of it, keeping it. I live at a maternity homeless shelter. I had him at 10.56, Halloween night. So they started doing tests, and they found a bunch of hormones that he was like missing. And then we did an MRI, and they saw the, they saw the part of his brain that was like undeveloped. So this patient is a baby with panhypopituitarism, and that means that the pituitary gland of this child does not function. The pituitary is the gland that controls nearly all the hormonal systems, so it's like switching off the main, the main switch. This is definitely something that she didn't do. It's essentially bad luck that this, her child got this condition. We're in here so that you can get an immunization and a shot of testosterone. The nice thing about hormonal deficiencies is if you identify them and treat them, they can do very well, but it's absolutely essential that they get their medications. Without that, they can get severely ill. They can have seizures, brain damage, death. Nutrition is a really big deal with Andre because he has to stay as healthy as he can because of his health problems. WIC, it's women, infant, and children, and you get it on it when you're pregnant. You get vouchers for cheese and milk and berries and vegetables and beans. Andre wouldn't be as healthy as he is without WIC because he wouldn't have had everything that he needed when he needed it. Because so I don't think I would have been able to supply all of that. If it was just me, the car's like whatever I can walk. But I don't, like, he has medical issues. Like, if an emergency were to happen, I need to take him somewhere. He has so many doctor's appointments. I have to be able to get to and from work because if not, then I can't support him. <laughs> and I want to be able to support me and Andre, like, by myself. I want to show him that I can do it because my mom never supported me by herself. Other people always supported me. And I want to do that for myself. 